What Allah said in the Quran about Jesus, son of Mary, peace be upon him, part 2. Then Mary came carrying her child to her people. Her people said to her out of shock, O oh Mary, you have committed a grave fabricated matter, by bringing a child without a father. O oh, one who resembles Aaron, a righteous man, in worship, your father was not an adulterer nor was your mother. You are from a pure household known to be righteous, so how can you bring a child without a father? She pointed towards her son Jesus, peace be upon him, who was in the cradle. So the people said in surprise, how can we talk to a child who is in the cradle? Jesus, peace be upon him, said, I am the servant of Allah. He gave the gospel and made me one of his prophets. And he made me a great benefit for the servants wherever I am. And he ordered me to perform prayer and give zakat for as long as I live. And he made me righteous to my mother. And he did not make me arrogant towards the obedience of my Lord nor did he make me disobedient to her. And safety from the Satans and his helpers is on me on the day of my birth, the day of my death and the day I shall be raised on the day of judgment. The Satan has no evil effect on me in th three frightening places. He who is described with these qualities is Jesus, son of Mary. And this discussion is the word of truth regarding him, not that which is said by the misguided who doubt and disagree in his affair. It does not befit Allah to have a son, exalted and free he is from this. When he intends something, it is enough for him to say regarding this thing, be, and it most definitely becomes. So he who is like this is free from having a son. And Allah, may he be glorified, is both my Lord and your Lord, so make worship sincere for him alone. This which I have mentioned to you is the straight path that leads to the pleasure of Allah. But the factions of Jews and Christians differed regarding the matter of Jesus, peace be upon him. The Jews said about him that he is a magician. Some Christians said about him that he is the son of Allah. Woe to those who differ regarding him, from witnessing the great day of judgment, due to its scenes, reckoning, and punishment. How horrible is what they will hear and see on the day of judgment, and how severe it will be for them. And how strange will be their condition which you will see. However, the oppressors in this worldly life are clearly misguided from the straight path. They will not prepare for the afterlife until it will suddenly come to them whilst they are in their wrongdoing. Quran 19 16-38 Fifth, Allah's favor bestowed upon Jesus, son of Mary, made him and his mother one of the signs proving Allah's capability to do anything. She conceived and gave birth to him without a father. He spoke when he was still a baby in the cradle, and Allah displayed through him many signs. Allah Almighty said about him. The similitude of Jesus before Allah, in terms of Allah's ability, as he created him without a father, is like that of Adam, whom he created without a father and mother, but from dust. Then said to him, Be, so he was. So, he who created Adam without a father and mother is capable to create Jesus without a father with greater reason. Allah Almighty says. And, remember Mary, who guarded her chastity, we breathed. In her, garment, through our spirit, Gabriel, and made her and her son a sign for all people. Surat al Anbiya, 91. O oh, Messenger! Also mention the story of Mary, peace be upon her, who protected herself from fornication. Allah then sent Gabriel, peace be upon him, to her, and he blew into her. Consequently, she became pregnant with Jesus, peace be upon him, they were both signs for the people of the power of Allah and proofs that nothing is beyond Allah's capability such that he created Jesus without a father. al Baya 91 Allah Almighty says, We made the son of Mary and his mother a sign and sheltered them on a hillside a place of rest and a flowing stream. Surat al-Muminin, 50 I also made Jesus and his mother Mary signs indicating my capability, she conceived him without a father. I granted them shelter in an elevated place on earth, an even, habitable place which had fresh flowing water. al 50 Allah Almighty says The similitude of Jesus before Allah is like that of Adam, he created him from dust, then said to him, Be, and he was. Surat al-Imran, 59 with Allah, the example of the creation of Jesus, peace be upon him, is like the creation of Adam, who was born from dust without a father or mother. Allah simply said to him, Become a man. And he became as Allah willed. 
How do you then assume that Jesus is a God on the basis that he has no father when you accept that Adam is human despite his having no father or mother? Ali Imran, 59. Sixth, reminding Jesus of the blessings Allah bestowed upon him. These blessings include giving him clear proofs, which are the miracles like reviving the dead, making from clay that which is like the form of a bird, then breathing into it. So it became a bird by the permission of Allah, curing ailments, telling about the unseen, and being supported by the Holy Spirit, who is Gabriel, Jibril, peace be upon him. He also talked to people when he was a baby in cradle and in maturity, and Allah taught him writing, wisdom and the Torah and the Gospel. Allah Almighty says. We gave Moses the scripture and sent a succession of messengers after him. We gave Jesus, the son of Mary, clear signs and strengthened him with the Holy Spirit. Is it that every time a messenger comes to you, O Israelites, with something against your desires, you become arrogant, some of them you rejected, and others you killed? Surat al-Baqarah, 87. Allah gave Moses the Torah and followed him with other messengers. He gave Jesus, the son of Mary, clear signs of the truth of what he came with, such as bringing the dead back to life and healing the blind and the lepers. And he strengthened him with the angel Gabriel, the Holy Spirit, peace be upon him. Yet is it, O Israelites, that whenever a messenger comes to you from Allah with what does not agree with your whims, you become full of pride towards the truth. Looking down on the messengers of Allah? Do you reject a group of them and kill a group of them? Al-Baqarah, 87. Almighty says. Those messengers, we favored some over others. There are some to whom Allah spoke, and some he raised high in rank. To Jesus, son of Mary, we gave clear signs and supported him with the Holy Spirit. If Allah had willed, those who came after them would not have fought one another after receiving clear signs. But they differed, some believed and some disbelieved. If Allah had willed, they would not have fought one another, but Allah does what he wills. Surat al-Baqarah, 253 Allah favored some of those messengers mentioned to you over others with respect to their revelation, followers and ranks. Some of them Allah spoke to, such as Moses, and others he granted a high rank. Such as Muhammad, peace be upon him, who was sent to the entire humankind as the last of the prophets and whose nation was preferred over all other communities. Allah gave Jesus, son of Mary, clear miracles confirming his prophethood, such as bringing the dead to life and curing the leper and the blind, and supported him with the angel Gabriel to give him strength in fulfilling Allah's instruction. If Allah had willed, those that came after the messengers would not have fought amongst themselves after having received clear signs, but they disagreed and were divided. Some of them had faith in Allah, whilst others did not. If Allah had willed, they would not have fought with each other, but Allah does as he wills. He guides whomever he wills to faith through his mercy and grace, and he does not guide whomever he wishes by his justice and wisdom. Al-Baqarah, 53 Allah Almighty says And, will send him as, a messenger to the children of Israel, I have come to you with a sign from your Lord that I make for you from clay the figure of a bird, then breathe into it. And it will become a bird by Allah's permission, and I heal the blind and the leper, and bring the dead to life by Allah's permission. And I inform you of what you eat and what you store in your houses. There is a sign in this for you if you are believers. Surat al-Imran, 49 Allah will make him a messenger to the Israelites, instructing him to say to them, I am Allah's messenger to you. I have brought to you a sign indicating my prophethood, I will make the shape of a bird using clay, then I will breathe into it and it will become a living bird by Allah's permission. 
I will cure the one who was born blind, so that he will be able to see, and the leper who will recover from his illness, and I will bring the dead to life. I will do all of this with Allah's permission. I will tell you about what you consume and what you hide in your homes. In all of these extraordinary things that I mention to you, which human beings cannot do, is a clear sign that I am Allah's messenger to you, if you wish to have faith and to accept the proof. Ali Imran, 49 Allah Almighty says. Then Allah will say, O Jesus, Son of Mary, remember my favor. Upon you and upon your mother when I supported you with the Holy Spirit as you spoke to people in the cradle and in maturity. I taught you writing, wisdom, the Torah, and the Gospel. You made something from clay in the shape of a bird by my permission, and breathed into it, and it became a bird by my permission. You healed the born blind and lepers by my permission, and you brought the dead to life by my permission. I restrained the children of Israel from killing you when you came to them with clear signs, but the disbelievers among them said, This is nothing but clear magic. Surat al Maida, 110. Remember when Allah addressed Jesus, peace be upon him, and told him to remember Allah's favor to him when he created him without a father, to his mother, Mary, peace be upon her. When he chose her over all the women of her time, and upon him when he strengthened him with Gabriel, peace be upon him. Allah told him that he used to speak to people as a baby, calling them to Allah, and that he used to speak to them in his adulthood, telling them what Allah had sent him with. Allah reminded him of the favor of being taught how to write, and that he taught him the Torah that he had revealed to Moses, peace be upon him, and the gospel that he revealed to him. He was reminded of the favor of being taught the secrets of the sacred law and its benefits and wisdom. Allah reminded him of how he would make the shape of a bird from clay, blow into it and it used to become a living bird. He used to cure the person who was born blind, and he would treat the leper and heal his skin. He also used to bring the dead to life by praying to Allah to give them life. All of this happened with Allah's permission. Another favor that Allah reminded him about was that Allah protected him from the Israelites when they intended to kill him after he brought to them clear miracles. The only thing they could do was to deny them, and they said, Jesus has brought nothing but plain sorcery. Almida, 110. Seventh, the command to believe in Allah, in what he revealed. To Muhammad, in what he revealed to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob and the descendants of Jacob, in what was given to Moses, Jesus, and in what was given to the prophets from their Lord. We make no distinction between any of them. Allah Almighty says. Say, O believers, we believe in Allah and what has been sent. Down to us, and what was sent down to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, and the descendants, of Jacob, and what was given to Moses and Jesus, and what was given to the prophets from their Lord. We make no distinction between any of them, and to him we have submitted. Surat al-Baqarah, 136 Tell the Jews and Christians who make these baseless claims that you have faith in Allah and the Quran which he revealed to you, and in what he revealed to Abraham and his sons Ishmael and Isaac. Jacob, and in what he revealed to the prophets from the descendants of Jacob. Say that you have faith in the Torah which Allah gave to Moses, and the Gospel which he gave to Jesus, and in all the scriptures that he gave to every one of the prophets. With no distinction between them, having faith in all of them, not only having faith in some and rejecting others. Tell them that you humbly surrender to him alone. Al-Baqarah 136 Allah Almighty says. Say, we believe in Allah and what has been sent down to us. And what was sent down to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, and his descendants, and what was given to Moses, Jesus, and other prophets from their Lord. We make no distinction between any of them, and to him we submit. Surat al-Imran, 84 Say, O Messenger, that you have faith in Allah, doing as he instructs you, and that you have faith in the revelation that was given to you, and to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac and Jacob. And in what was revealed to the prophets among Jacob's descendants, and in the scriptures and miracles that were given to Moses, Jesus and all the prophets by their Lord. Also, say that you make no distinction between them, believing in all of them, and that you are bound to Allah alone, surrendering in devotion to him. Ali Imran, 84 8. Informing that Allah sent revelation to Muhammad just. As he sent revelation to the messengers and prophets before him, and Jesus is one of them. Allah Almighty says. We have sent revelation to you, O Prophet, just as we revealed. To Noah and the prophets after him. 
We also sent revelation to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, and his descendants, and to Jesus, Job, Jonah, Aaron, and Solomon, and we gave David the Psalms. There are messengers whose stories we have already mentioned to you, and messengers we have not mentioned to you. And Allah spoke to Moses directly. These messengers were sent as bearers of glad tidings and as warners, so that the people may have no excuse before Allah after the coming of the messengers. For Allah is almighty, all wise. Surat and Nisa, 163 to 165. I have sent revelation to you, O messenger, as I had sent revelation to the prophets before you. This revelation to you is not something strange or unexpected. I had sent revelation to Noah and to the prophets who came after him. I sent revelation to Abraham and his two sons, Ishmael and Isaac, and to Jacob, the son of Isaac. And to the tribes, which refers to the prophets that were from the twelve tribes of the Israelites from the children of Jacob. I also gave David a book called the Sames. I sent messengers whom I have mentioned to you in the Quran, and I also sent messengers whom I have not mentioned to you in the Quran for a reason. And Allah spoke to Moses without an intermediary in a manner that befits him as an honor to Moses. I sent messengers to give good news of a generous reward for those who have faith in Allah, and to warn those who disbelieve in him of a painful punishment. So that people will not have any argument to present as an excuse against me after I have sent the messengers. I am mighty in my dominion and wise in my decision. If the Jews disbelieve in you O messenger, then Allah bears testimony to the truth of the Quran that he has revealed to you. He has revealed knowledge of his to his servants so that they may know what he willed regarding what he likes and is pleased with, as well as what he dislikes and condemns. Together with Allah's testimony, the angels also bear testimony to the truth of what you brought. Allah's testimony is sufficient and no one else's testimony is regired. Anissa 163-165 Ninth, Telling about cursing the disbelievers from among the Children of Israel on the tongue of David and Jesus, son of Mary, due to their disobedience, injustice, and failure to forbid one another from committing evil. Allah Almighty says, Those who disbelieved from the children of Israel were cursed. On the tongue of David and Jesus son of Mary. That was because of their disobedience and their persistence in transgression. They did not forbid one another from committing evil deeds. Terrible was indeed what they used to do. You see many of them taking those who disbelieve as allies. Terrible was indeed what they have done for themselves, for they have incurred Allah's wrath and they will abide in the punishment forever. If they had believed in Allah and the Prophet and what has been sent down to him, they would not have taken them as allies, but most of them are evildoers. Surat Al-Ma'ida, 78-81 Allah, may he be glorified, tells us that he distanced the disbelievers of the Israelites from his mercy in the scripture he revealed to David, namely the Psalms and in the scripture he revealed to Jesus, son of Mary, namely the gospel. He did this because of the sins they committed and due to their violation of the things Allah made sacred. They did not forbid the sinner from amongst them from committing sin. Instead, the sinners used to commit sins and evil openly because no one would disapprove of it. How evil was the action of not forbidding the evil that they used to do? You will see, O oh Messenger, many of the disbelieving Jews forming alliances with the idolaters and opposing you and those who believe in Allah's oneness. How evil is their action of taking disbelievers as allies? This will cause Allah's anger and lead them into the fire, where they will live eternally, never to leave. If these Jews had true faith in Allah and his Prophet, they would not have taken the idolaters as their allies instead of the believers. Because they were prohibited from taking disbelievers as friends. But most of these Jews do not obey Allah nor do they side with him and the believers. Almida, 78-82 Tenth, Allah Almighty informing that the true Christians are the closest in affection to the believers, and that when they heard what was revealed to Muhammad about Jesus, they were moved and wept because of their recognition of the truth. Allah Almighty says, You will surely find that the most hostile people towards the Believers are the Jews and those who associate partners with Allah, and you will surely find that the closest of them in affection to the believers are those who say, We are Christians. That is because among them are priests and monks, and they are not arrogant. When they hear what has been sent down to the messenger, you see their eyes overflowing with tears because of recognizing the truth. 
They say, Our Lord, we believe, so record us among those who testify, to the truth. Surat al-Ma'ida, 82-83 you will find, O Messenger, that the people with the most hostility towards those who have faith in you and that which you brought are the Jews, due to their malice, jealousy and pride, as well as the idol worshippers and others who associate partners with Allah. You will also find that the people who are closest in affection to those who have faith in you and that which you brought are those who call themselves Christians. The verse explains that the reason for these people being close to the believers is that there are scholars, ascetics and worshippers among them who are humble and not proud. Good does not enter the heart of a proud person. The hearts of these Christians are soft. When they listen to any part of the Quran that has been revealed, they cry in submission. Because they recognize that it is the truth because of their knowing that which Jesus, peace be with him, brought. They say, Our Lord, we accept what you have revealed to your messenger, Muhammad, peace be upon him. So record us, Our Lord, among those of the nation who will be witnesses against people on the day of rising. Almida 82-83 Eleventh, praising Jesus, peace be upon him, as one of the righteous. Allah Almighty says. And Zechariah, John, Jesus, and Elias each was among the righteous. Surat Al-Anam 85 In a similar way, I guided Zechariah, John, Jesus son of Mary and Elijah, peace be upon them. All these prophets were of the righteous, who were chosen by Allah to be messengers. Alanam 85, 77.